Hello guys, welcome to another uh, JavaScript tutorial. And uh, in this video tutorial, I will talk. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to create uh, your first event handler. So, the first thing we need to do is create uh, a form in the body section. So let's create here form, and let's close it form and hope you guys remember HTML and in here I'm gonna type input type equals a button and let's give it a name let's call this submit and the value which is whatever we want to appear in the button is submit as well um, now let's close it and here is where I'm gonna type uh, some JavaScript code in a second but for now I don't need no JavaScript uh, code uh, I'm gonna show you how to do it all in line in HTML here so the first event handler I'm gonna show you event handlers is something that you use um, to create events um, whenever you click something or you mouse over it okay and JavaScript has a lot of features like that uh, pretty cool features as you'll see so the first and most common uh, and most known uh, event handler um, that probably some of you already heard about it is on click so on click is very very common and which means is uh, whenever you click this button that we created here in the form whenever we click it uh, do some action so the action is for example I can type directly between these uh, double quotes directly I can type here some JavaScript code for example document write whatever I'm gonna use an alert box which is more um, it's cooler to use it an alert box so inside the parentheses I'm gonna type um, this works okay now you'll see that we have a little problem here which is um, if you guys are using notepad plus plus and f for all of you that uh, are not using plus uh, a notepad plus plus probably you also have uh, this uh, in another color uh, basically the uh, editor is saying to us that the alert these double quotes this double quote uh, starts here and it ends here so this is an action okay this is not an action anymore and as you can see it's in black so why is that because uh, it's making some confusion JavaScript with these or HTML um, it's making some confusion with these uh, double quotes here so to prevent this we have to type a single quote in here and a single quote okay we have the beginning of double quotes and the ending of double quotes okay so make sure you have uh, single quotes in here and of course we have type semicolon at the end don't forget that um, now let's see let us see if this works so open Chrome you have submit and if we click there it is okay perfect this works um, so if it's not working is beha because you forgot to uh, to do something um, or to put something uh, make sure you have the code as I have in here okay and um, now and uh, something uh, that I can also do another thing is for example create here a function let's call this function test and here let's uh, let's grab this piece of uh, JavaScript code copy it and put it in the function save this and now in here instead of putting directly the JavaScript code I just have to call the test function okay pretty awesome save this okay and as you'll see 
if I go to Chrome and click it it still works okay so instead of putting uh, if you have a large amount of uh, code instead of uh, putting the code here directly with a few lines of code you can put it in a function and then call the function okay so you will write less code in here um, different um, different uh, as or the basically the majority of the event handlers that you can use or the most common ones in a list or a file that you uh, you can find it at the end of the chapter JavaScript chapter okay um, as well with all the methods and I'm going to put all those things in one file so you can check that out uh, but you can also you can also go to uh, web three schools and I already mentioned this a lot you can find here everything you need and you have let me check here JS events click it okay and here you have a lot of events that you can use let me check here down here in the events page okay JavaScript events down here you have event reference okay so click it and here you have all the events that you can use okay okay let me just use the on mouse over you have the description as well pretty cool so let me check here and type on mouse over on mouse over basically is as the name says as soon as I pass the um, the cursor between or um, the mouse over uh, the button it will automatically um, it would automatically show the alert box or call the function so as you will see Chrome see I didn't click it as soon as I pass the mouse over it it calls the function and appears the alert box okay so these are just a few simple um, uh, events you can use and um, if you have any questions just send me a message or leave your questions in the comment section below see you guys later bye